keep on coming with the heat, I'm hogging. Keep me on the block, block, baby. Heat, I'm hogging. Keep me on the block, block, baby. Yo 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 what's up guys it's RP here and today's video will show you guys how to make the sound effect and the effect that you just saw in the intro So all plugins you will need is the software and magic booth Lux plugins And I quickly just wanna say sorry for the bad mic quality It's because I'm moving right now and I'm on my laptop and using my headset mic And that's why the audio can be a little bit bad but, but sorry for that but drop a like drop a sub we're so close to 1k subscribers and now let's get right into the tutorial. So the first thing we want to do is to sync up the clip with the music and then we're going to turn map the clip. It's important that you use the turn mapping I will show in this video. And basically how to turn map the clip is basically right click on the clip, press return curve, then zoom in out to this arrow, make sure the only thing tick is the return speed. Click on this line, then go to shot of impact. That's the first way you see the novel square and press on this keyframe. And from here, you need to go 11 frames to the left. 11, press on the keyframe thing again. And from here, you're gonna go three frames to the left. So one, two, three, add the keyframe. Then go to the shot of impact again and find where the numbers are fully built. So they are not gonna get bigger. So for me, it's right here and add another keyframe. Then this middle part, drag it up to 300%. This other part right here, drag it up to 200%. And then this little part, drag down to 40%. So like this. And then basically, you need to find the beat you want to kill to happen on. So I want to tap right here. And then drag the first keyframe to the left until you see this middle keyframe being a right line with the beat you want to kill to happen on. And it should be synced. Now it's basically just one thing left to do. Press on this middle keyframe and press on this curve thingy and drag it up as much as you can like that and this last part drag down to 50% to create a nice slime and now we can close out of the return curve and basically if you think it's a bit choppy go to project settings scroll down and change this to optical flow then press set now we're gonna start doing the build up basically front shot of impact go 29 frames to the left 29 right here go to fix and drag an adjust clip and make it to start right there and end on the shot of impact. Then go to open fix and show shop looks. Drag it and drop it on that. Then in the description you should find the Google Draw folder. In that Google Draw folder, download the Magbook look preset called like Ice Look Happy. Then go to Windows search down here to import it and press search up percentage local app data percentage and only open up this folder. Then open looks builder. Go to looks and then go to custom and drop it inside of here. Then you can close out and don't do you need to restart the range result. Go to FX, press edit look. Then in your custom you should find a brand new look called ice look RP. I have it in another folder. Basically press on it and press on the check mark. Then you should see two rectangular things on in the corners. Take one to the left and drag about to the middle. You can always play around with this later. To reduce lag, right click on the adjust clip and press around the cache color output. Now we're gonna add basically the half tone how to do that is go to fx drag in another adjustment clip and make it as long as the first adjustment clip with the match book looks you have over to go to the feature tab then in single draw for this all the other times download the preset called half tone rp and just drag it in and just connect it and this should appear it doesn't look that nice right now but go to edit tab and change the opacity to exactly 50% Drag the left rectangle all the way to the right like this and right click and press find the cache. That will basically create a fading and it won't be fully black and white. Now it's basically uh, the zoom in left to add and the black bars. Basically how to do that is drag in another adjust clip and make it to the ends on the shot of impact. It's important that you don't make it shorter because that will up the preset. However, I just go to the fusion tab that in single drafts all the other times don't let the preset called over it, zoom in RP and just drag it in and then connect it like this. All the keyframe will be done at the end and then just go to edit and how to add the back boss is add another just click make it ends on the shot of impact and don't make it shorter. However, we go to the fusion tab and download the preset in the single draw folder called a black boss RP. Drag it in and it's really important that you don't connect it the normal way and connect it to the medium one like this. And the keyframe will be done at the end. Uh, go back to edit tab and now basically it's just the uh, sound effect and uh, impact left to do. Go to effects, drag in there, just clip and make it to start on the shot of impact. 
then hover over there just clip and go to fusion tab then download the preset called blue hard impact rp and just connect it like this it's a really cool blue impact and now basically it just the sound effect left to add and basically everything you will need for the sound effect is uh, two songs the song you was using and the song you want to switch to will basically be a sound switch and how you want to do this is the first song you used go one frame before the beat happens so here we see the sound waves that the beat happens here so we just go there and make it so it ends right there like that then i'll go to my second song i want to switch to and basically find at the first beat usually but just find any beat i will use this beat and basically make it so it starts one frame before the beat so right there and then drag it to the shot of impact and make it one layer under the original song then you can drag it out a bit i usually take it drag it out to where the color correction starts so here we see the adjust clip start with the color correction then what you need to do is you need to drag the rectangle to the left on the song you want to switch to and drag it to where the original song ends and you should see one dot drag it down like this then do the same thing with the original song but don't drag any dots so just drag it like this and that's basically it for today's video if you enjoyed please consider doing drop a like drop a sub we're so close to 1k subscribers but see you guys in the next tutorial bye